So last week, I made a video on my MS diagnosis. But in bigger news, Activision, what the hell are you doing? Scamming your fans. What on earth do you think you're playing at? You literally put the game on sale, and then a day before, you stopped the sale, and then you saved the season desist. You let all these big streamers stream the, the mod in early access, playing against bots and getting all these amazing clips, hyping the game up, and then you just go and throw a season desist the day before. Seriously? What on earth is that about? We're going to look into it now, and you know what? Do you know what? I've just had a thought then. I'm going to try and play it. I'm going to try and find a way to play it just to spite Activision because what you've done there is absolutely detrimental to the gaming scene. Just before we get started as well, I did think that Steam would have a better stance on this, but they're just as bad at the moment. They're saying, oh, we'll refund you the game if you haven't played it for two hours and you've owned it for less than 14 days. That's just their policy anyway. Nothing's changed there. So for people saying that Steam are doing the right thing by letting you refund it, they have to do that anyway. Look, me personally, I totally get it. You want to put in a cease and desist if I've robbed your IP and I'm making a profit from it or something like that. But that's the thing. These weren't making a profit from it. The only people who made a profit from this was Activision. And they knew what they were doing because they put the game on sale. They put the game on sale, man. Come on. And then they stopped it the day before and then they said the cease and desist. I'm going around in circles, but this is just absolutely mad. So, of course, all us old school fans are feeling very betrayed by Activision at the moment. I am so sore about it. Like, I haven't been this passionate about something in a long time. But it's Modern Warfare 2, man. We just wanted to experience it again. Most of us have grown up since the original Modern Warfare 2 release and we've all got really complex and stressful lives. And just to go back to them nostalgic times, mean a lot to us gamers. And now Activision have just said, no, you're not allowed that. You're not allowed to have fun, even though they're holding in the back now i would like to say that twitter is all in agreement that this is scum but you know what there's some people that just don't agree with that at all i understand there's arguments both sides but just the way activision done it is just appalling they should have literally just done the season desist a lot earlier a lot earlier when all these streamers were like hyping it up as well but you know it's money at the end of the day these corporations are going to do that activision is literally just i think the worst in the air at this point so we're going to jump in and try and play the game now so bear with me while i try and get it set up right so i have found something i tried to install it it didn't work properly so i'm trying again i've uninstalled absolutely everything so i'm starting fresh i'm just going to follow a step-by-step -step guide i don't know whether this is going to be a thing or not but we'll see well here we go i've managed to get it working and it took me a lot longer than i'd like to say it because I'm an absolute idiot and I didn't know what I was doing and I was missing a very important step. I'm not going to show you how to do it, but I will say when you do get it working, make sure that you run the launcher first before you run the mod itself. Now, there are tutorials that tell you to do that, but I just overread it, you know what I mean? I just skipped past it by accident. So it took me a lot longer. I joined a few discords and you've got to be very careful with these discords as well because there's just people in there that either want to scam you or they want you to do damage to your PC. There was a guy in there who was telling people to run this command line and command prompt. And what that line would have done, you would not have known. But what it would have done is deleted all your System32 and all of your Windows files as well. So when you shut down your computer and try your, to turn your computer back on, then your computer just would not boot no matter what you did. Just be careful of that. But yeah, we're into the game now. And yeah, I want to show you what I've got. So I've set up a couple of classes that I used to use. The Intervention, of course. Everyone used to use that. Now, I think I'm going to put Stop and Power on instead, though. I mean, I know people use Lightweight, but I'm going to put Stop and Power on. We've got the UMP45, Scar H, and the ACR. I've left that intervention there. So if I do want to use Lightweight, I can. When it comes to using a controller, you need to run it through Steam. So you want to go into Steam and add a new game. And then you want to link it to the, the mod itself. Now, when you're doing all the setup tutorials and stuff like that, you'll, you'll see what I mean. But you have to put it through Steam first to get the controller to work, as it does here. Because otherwise, it's an absolute pain for it to get to work. So, yeah, we're going to jump in. We're going to go on Team Deathmatch. We're going to go on Scrapyard. I've already set all this up. And we're going to get going. Right, okay, I did jump into a game. And I played a game on this. And I played on Rust. And my hard drive got full. So, I need to do it again. But what I have done is created a few more classes so i've got the models on this um what else did i put on i put some camos on a few things as well like the akimbo magnums here i've got toxic waste on and i've got the battle 50 cal set up with the spaz 12 as well so yeah we're gonna go back into scrapyard and yeah let's do this again this is modern warfare 2 remastered multiplayer activision i'm sorry but we are gonna play so yeah as i say it's dead easy to set up i just messed up a little bit i don't want to show it out i don't want to show you how to do it but it is very easy just be careful in them discords here we are with the intervention and yeah let's have a go and try and get this nuke so kill streak wise i've got the harriers ac130 and the nuke what i did notice in that last playthrough is that the ac130 
um, is is really good to use. But if you're going for the nuke, it's um, the bots are gonna find you. Is what I'm trying to say. There's nowhere really you can hide. The bots are always gonna find you. It's amazing. The game is incredible. Activision, you've messed up. What you should have done, in my opinion, was hired these guys because these guys are making your game better than you make your game. What you should have done is hired these guys and released this game. And do you know what? I would have paid because it's incredible. What they've done is absolutely incredible. They've made COD amazing again. Like it, it, it really is like night and day compared to recent CODs. Honestly, I wish I could explain it more, but it's, it's just a good, good game. It really is. It's incredible. So we've got the AC-130 now. I'm going to show you what I mean here. So if I try and hide some... Right, I won't be able to do it now because once you shoot in a private match with bots, they just know exactly where you are. So, see? So there's nothing I could have done there. I can call it in now just to show you what the AC-130 is like. But I'll also, you'll also see that I will get caught by the bots. They just know where you are at all times. So even if like I'm over here in the middle of nowhere, watch, I'm sure that they'll find me. So here's the AC-130 at least anyway. Look at them just sitting in there. I'm not going to be able to kill these now, am I? Look. And look, they're going to run into the corner and find me straight away. See? I think it's because I was shooting in this. I should have tested it. By not shooting. But yeah, that's it. And that's the AC-130 looking sick as well. It's even got the thermal. Do you know what I mean? This is incredible. That noise as well. That noise. I, I will do what I did before as well after this game. And go into a game on Rust. Because you can't play Modern Warfare 2 without having at least a go on Rust. you know what I mean? So the sniping feels absolutely incredible. I'm going to have this life with the sniper and then I'm going to go on to like the UMP and the, the SCAR and stuff like that. And also I want to show you Commando Pro because Commando Pro is quite funny. The UMP, I've got to set up as rapid fire with the old school Red Tiger. Check this out. This is insane. The TTK on this thing is just bonkers. If we shoot a little bit, we can lure the bots to us and just try and get these kill streaks out. So they will be coming in force now. Just got to watch them corners, man. Okay. Right, we do have Harriers. I'll bang the Harriers in. See, I'm not shooting, so they don't know where I am. But see, they all stayed in there. So what you could do, I guess, is shoot out here. And just let them all build up there. I'd imagine so anyway. Yeah, look at them. They're all just running there. The last place where I was shooting. But now one see me, they all should see me, you know what I mean? That's mad, how the bots work, like. So that's one of the only things I can say is wrong with this game at the moment. Everything else feels perfect. Activision, you should have let us play. So here we go with the Scar. This was also an amazing gun back in Modern Warfare 2 days. Not my go-to, but it was a great gun. Now, people know the Scar these days from the OG Fortnite. I don't know whether it's still in it. I don't play Fortnite enough, you know what I mean? So, uh, what else? Is this the one with the... Let's go with the ACR, because I just want to show you Commando. Watch this. This is hilarious. So, back in the day when you used to have Commando, you used to be able to lunge at them, but now it just it stays there, but you stab them from a mile away. You're like Michael Jordan from Space Jam, where he's just like, his arm stretches. Unbelievable, man. Watch. See? <laughs> absolutely miles away you can get them from. And then obviously you got the ACR as well. Which was an absolutely incredible gun in Modern Warfare 2. Which we're going to give a go right now. This was class. This was such a good gun. Especially when you had it silenced and stuff like that. The ACR in Modern Warfare 3 as well was really good. But yeah, there you go. We're going to jump into Rust now and we're going to use the Barra 50 Cal. And we're just going to absolutely tear up people there. And we're going to use different kill streaks, I think. Uh, sadly, I didn't get the nuke, but we're going to jump in. We're going to try and use the emergency airdrop. We're going to try and use the pave low. And then we'll use the AC-130. Do you know what? No, we won't because we use the AC-130. What we'll do, we'll do pave low, emergency airdrop, and nuke. And if we get the nuke, we get it. If we don't, we don't. And the map we're going on is Rust. 
Ah, oh, we're smashing it before as well. Unreal. Right, okay. Just a little warm up. There we go. Oh, man. Well, never mind. We go again. Right, where are they all? There's one there. I'm sure that's it, you know. They just walk over to where you last shot from. Bang. This is a lot better co to control. Come on, man. What's with the hit markers? This isn't the Modern Warfare I remember. Oh, jeez. But the LE's quick scope of me. Never mind. No. No. That's fine. Emergency airdrop, though. Let's see what we get. Can we get the chopper gunner? I got a chopper gunner last time, but I don't think it worked properly. We're going to see if we can get it here, though. Okay, we're good at the moment. We're good at the moment. Good at the moment. Everyone's going to come over here now. Damn it! Okay, any emergency airdrop chopper gunners? Nope. Nope. Oh, that's not... That's a hind, isn't it? So, yeah, no chopper gunner in that one. We're going to try again in a second. I reaps. That's a name from back in the day. Jesus. That is a blast from the past right there. I reaps used to make like a load of Modern Warfare 2 sniper montages. Pave loads ready for deployment there. I don't think I'm going to get the nuke here, but we can try. Oh my god, this game's so good. Activision. Man, you're annoying me, you know. Just because it's better than any game you guys have released. You shouldn't punish these fans of yours. The fans who made it, you know what I mean? So, sort it out, man. Bang. Bang. Let the pave low again. Yeah, pave low. Uh, emergency airdrop. I want to try and get that chopper gunner in, you see. Oh, man, come on. I might have just ruined it for us. Actually, not yet. Let's Here's the pave low, though. The pave low is going to rip them to shreds. We're not doing too well, to be totally honest. But we can only try at the end of the day. We can still get it. We can still get it. Uh, the game feels a little bit quiet. I must say that. But you know what I mean? It's not a problem there. Okay, so we got... I don't think... No! <sighs> Come on. Come on. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. Do you know what? Oh, jeez. I'm not bringing a pave low in now. We're definitely not getting the, uh, the what's it called? The, oh god, oh god. We're not getting the chopper gunner. Damn it! Oh god, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, I'm getting collapsed and stuff now. Come on, just let me get the nuke. Let me get the nuke. Let me get the nuke. So oh, reload, reload. Okay, go around the back. Come on, we're close now. We're close now. No! It was it. Sharp. Okay, never mind. We're not getting it. You're just going to have to wait, I guess. Or maybe I can put it in the end of the video, what it looks like. But yeah, for now, we're going to call it quits. Let me know what you think of this one down below. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And yeah, just let me know what your thoughts are in general on this whole controversy. like, Because it, it's a bit mad. And oh my god, I can't believe I just hit... Oh, that must have been a pay blow. I thought I hit him with the sniper then. It's just bonkers, man. Like, I just don't agree with it at all. But, yeah, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Well, there it is. There's the nuke.
Incredible game. I just thought I'd leave this in for you. To enjoy. Unreal. Unreal. <laughs>